I'm the director, uh, which means really that I'm in charge of just about everything that goes on. So I oversee the actors' performances, I make sure that they're on script, I make sure that lighting um, and the camera work all match together, basically so that we can have a film, and as I say, so that it's all, all those elements are coherent and work when we come to do the edit. I do a lot of preparation. I probably do more preparation than anyone else because I have to be on top of all the different elements. I first have to get a real understanding of what the script needs are, what the learning points are, what the characters are, what the characters' backgrounds are, what the sort of underlying story and relationships are. On this particular job, we had, unfortunately, a makeup artist who was sick and didn't turn up, so we had to find someone at short notice, so we had to change the timetable at short notice, and uh, that's very challenging. Plus, it is actually quite a noisy environment, even though we did our best to find the best location it's still quite noisy and that's difficult plus the ordinary sort of challenges that one gets um, which is just that you want to get a lot out of the day because there's a lot of people here that cost a lot of money so you've got to be very efficient I'm kind of one of the head people who has to be on it all the time so that we can make sure we're efficient <laughs> you know high productivity basically what I enjoy about it is you create something that's beyond the frame, the edges of the frame. So you kind of, you're just showing a little scene, but you suggest what's outside of that scene. So you're creating a view into a little world, and all that matters really is what's in the picture. But that has that suggests an entire world around it. Um, that's kind of a fascinating thing. But the other thing I like is um, what they call dialectical editing. I just like the fact that. Um, <laughs> I like film language, really, and um, it's kind of a bit like prose, writing prose. <laughs> it's like a deep understanding of the medium, and if, if you can d use that when you're actually doing something, which you can't always, but that's uh, a great pleasure. I learned something.